This is an unboxing video of the Skywatcher 127 Maxitoff Cassegrain. This is our telescope that I bought off Jacob's Digital in Auckland, New Zealand. So let's get right into it. Boxes within boxes, as usual. Okay. Put that down there. And we do have some instructions. Put that over here. And we've got all boxes within boxes. Okay. What do we got here? Okay, what have we got here? We have got what looks like to be the mount, I believe. Some instructions for the GTI mount that it comes with. So this has got a clutch for um, horizontal and vertical. And there it is. Let me have a closer look at it. Yeah. Oh, a bit hard to open. I'll leave that to later, but that's that's pretty much it there, which mounts onto the tripod mount onto there, and the scope mounts onto that. So we'll put that box over there somewhere out of the way. Looks to be the telescope itself, which is quite small, quite compact, being the type of telescope it is, which is good. This one's easier to pull out. Yeah, we deal with the dovetail mount. Oh, it's quite nice. It's got a bit of weight to it. Is it there? And it's the front element. You can see there. Very nice. And there's the dovetail there, and obviously where you put the uh, star point, red dot star finder, there your focus, and where you put your eyepiece. Right, so I'll just put that back in there for now. Obviously, be the tripod, I think. Yes, it is very light, actually, very light. Very impressed. Easy for storage. tripod and here's your obviously your leveler there and we have the box here we have and we have an accessories tray which goes on here to help put your put your eyepieces on plus to help it keep it level and stable sorry Back 
Okay, so that's that one there, the other one. And of course this was on the telescope, which is on a warning for all telescopes not to look at the sun, for obvious reasons. This is the two times Barlow that I uh, asked, uh, I purchased separately. That came separate, that was a separate purchase, so two times Barlow. I believe will be the oops. It's the uh, red dot finder. And you actually get a it's a good quality screwdriver. Impressive. And this is to looks to be One eyepiece. There's one 25mm eyepiece and one 10mm eyepiece. So that's one eyepiece. And this will be, I will say, probably the 25mm eyepiece. Just a standard eyepiece. Let's get you started. Now, I dare say the other one will be the diagonal mirror. And it is by the look of it, yes. That's your diagonal mirror. That fits on the back of the scope. That way, I think. Yeah, that way. Oh, look at that. Okay, put that in there. And we've got one more box to open. And I'm hoping this will be. tripod extender which is definitely what you will need and it's good too it's got quite a little bit of weight to it so that will obviously go on the tripod itself which way it will go I'm not 100% sure but we'll figure that out and then the mount will go on top of here and the scope will obviously go on the mount so yeah that's the unboxing video for that and yeah hope this helps anyone who's interested in buying this I've read a lot of good reviews about it it's uh, pretty much a Jack of all trades scope. Uh, it's my first telescope. I have a good friend that got me started into this. I've always had an interest in astronomy, but you really looked at buying a telescope. So um, yeah, 